Hello all my crafty friends. This is Debbie from Craft Soup and I'm coming on today to finish up my how-to series on how to create this cute little bad boy that is a wine bottle gnome. I make these at Christmas time. They're hot sellers for craft fairs. People scoop them up as fast as I can put them out on the table and they are a lot of fun to make and give away as gifts. They also make great hostess gifts. So uh, this guy is built on a wine bottle if you haven't been watching my series. This is my display gnome but as you can see there's the wine bottle and then of course the neck of the wine bottle is up here and then the rest of the hat is just made with you know stuffing some felt that has been sewn together in the shape of the hat. Speaking of the hat, if you haven't watched my previous videos in this series, uh, I've created and tested the shape of this hat with 750 milliliter wine bottles and that hat pattern can be found at the back of my wine bottle gnome handout that's on my Etsy website and I will put that link in the description box below. In my video series on creating this guy, the first video was on how to cover the wine bottle. The second video, I believe, was how to create the beard. The third video was how to actually cut and sew the hat. The fourth video was on how to create the snowflake that goes on the side of the gnome, this guy right here. What we haven't done so far is talk about what's needed to put the rest of the gnome together. You're gonna to need a jingle bell. This is about a three quarter inch size jingle bell. And I get these at the Dollar Tree, but you can get them on Amazon as well. And if your jingle bells don't come with a little topper of some kind or a bead cap, then you might wanna to go to the store or go to your stash and get a little bead cap and glue it on the top. It really finishes off the top of the bell. You're also going to need about a one inch piece of wood. And I'll put some links in the description box below about where you can find some of these things. So let's get started on how to put this guy together. The first thing we're going to put on is the beard. And what we're gonna do here is make sure that we're looking exactly at where that back seam is. That's the back, so we wanna to go to the opposite side of the back. And we're going to move that beard right up to the top of the fabric. And we're going to center it so that it's on the front. I need to move mine over just a little bit. All right. All right, so that kind of tests the placement of it. Now, I'm going to take my hot glue gun and put a really good line of glue along the top flat straight edge of the beard. Okay. And then coming back to the wine bottle. Again, finding that back seam and centering this on the front, I'm just going to line up the top of the beard with the top of the fabric that I glued to the wine bottle and I'm going to press and make that glue harden and cool down. Now the beard is attached. Before you attach the hat, if you wanna go ahead and take your pick, your hair pick and just kind of straighten out the beard that's probably a good idea. And then, as you can see with this guy, the hat sits on top of the beard. So let's do that next. Here's the hat. Remember, we stuffed it full in the arc of the neck. We stuffed it full with polyfill. And again, we want to match up the back of the hat, which is this side. Remember, the hook of the hat is the front, so this is the back. We're going to match this seam up, which is the back seam, with the back seam of the fabric that covers the wine bottle. All right, so you can see that that line comes right on down. Here's the stitching, and it comes down and it continues with the seam of the fabric. One nice straight line. I'm going to push this down as far as I think it can go without stretching the hat out of shape. Now what I mean by stretching it out of shape is if you're causing a lot of wrinkles right here, you might be pushing down on it too hard. But you do wanna push down on it. You wanna pull this down enough so that it's covering the top of the beard. All right, 
Then I'm going to turn this guy over and I'm going to kind of pull this the back of the hat up a little bit to create a little pocket in there where I could stick my finger. But instead of sticking my finger in there, I am going to stick my hot glue gun in there. Oh, about a half an inch. And I'm going to put a dollop of hot glue in there. And then I'm just going to take that seam and press in so that seam is touching the fabric of the bottle. And I'm just going to hold it for a minute until it dries. Now notice that I'm also holding the sides of the hat down with my thumb and my other fingers just to hold that hat in place because that's where I want the hat to end up when he's all done. Now once this dries back here, this becomes the anchor of the hat. All right, so now we have our hat put on. The next thing that we need to do is attach the nose. And so this is what I do. I lay my gnome on his back and I pull up the front seam to create a pocket where I could stick my finger in. All right, can you see that? All right, so what I'm doing is I'm pulling this up. And when I say up, I really should be saying I'm pulling it out to create a space for my finger. But instead of my finger, I want to put that little wooden ball in that little space and glue him in. I want to find the best side of this little wooden ball. And what I'm looking for in the best side is the design of the grain. And when I say that, I mean, I just watch the grain. I like the, the grain of the wood to be going crosswise. I'm going to have this be the front of the nose. So I turn it over. I put glue on the back of the nose, a good dollop of it. All right. And then I switch hands. I go back to where the I had made a pocket in the front of the hat. And I just stick that right in there and I center it. Let me show you what I'm doing. I center it and I stabilize it and I play with it until it's sitting just where I want it to in the way that I want it to be sitting. And it's important that you let that dry for a minute. Try to keep the, the hair on the beard straight. Try not to let the hair get caught up in any of the workspace that you're, that you're using to put that nose on. Okay, now you can see that the seam coming down is just a little bit off to the side of the nose. That's not a problem because we're going to take this and still work with it a little bit. And we're going to just adjust that alignment a little bit. And what I want to do is I want to put a little bit of glue right up there on the top of the nose now in that space and then stick the hat seam down. So let me show you how that looks when I actually do it. All right, I'm going to fold this back a little bit. I'm going to adjust the nose where I think I want it. I'm going to put glue on the top of the nose, just a little bit, not much. And that glue is going to be hidden because now I'm bringing the hat down over that glue and this is where I'm making my final adjustment. Um, the seam of the hat is coming down right over the center of his nose. All right, I don't know if you can see that. And it looks good. So he's got a little button nose sticking out there. And I'm just gonna give it a chance to dry. Okay. The next thing I like to put on is his star snowflake. So all I do here, this is so easy. On the back of the snowflake, this snowflake came from the Dollar Tree and I had to glitter it up. Um, and you'll wanna watch my video on how I did that. But I'm gonna put a little dot of glue on the six bases around the center of the snowflake. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just make sure that that's got plenty of glue. Not too much though that it's gonna ooze out. 
And then you're just going to position the snowflake where you want it on his hat. There's really no right or wrong place to put it. It ends up where it ends up and it's going to look awesome. Finally, I want to take this jingle bell. I want to hot glue it up there at the end of the hook of the hat. There's a hole in this bead cap right up here at the top. I'm going to fill that hole with glue. Okay. And you can see that there's a little mound of glue sticking out. That's okay. I'm going to try to tap it down just a little bit to, to fill that hole. When this glue dries, it dries um, pretty clear. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to stick it right up. Let me see if I can turn this sideways. It might be easier. I'm just gluing it directly to the bottom of that hook and I'm going to hold it there. I'm just letting it harden. Once the glue is nice and hardened, it's on there forever. So it takes about a minute or a minute and a half to hold that in place. And there it is from the front. Now, if you find that the jingle bell isn't sitting exactly in front of this seam right here, then just take your hand and play with that padded top of the hat and you can line it up very easily. So there is our finished gnome. Now, if you want to take your pick, your hair pick, and start creating his beard, that's just fine. It's just so easy to do. I'm doing this left-handed and I'm a right-handed person. But you can just move the hair where you want it. Make it look like a little gnomey mustache and beard. It's so fun to make this guy. And this concludes the series on how to create this gnome, but I am going to add one more video to the series. I'm going to get out all of my gnome designs and do a show and tell. And I'm going to talk about my pricing of my gnomes for the craft fairs. So stay tuned. I'll have that video up in the next day or two. And until then, my friends, take care. Enjoy these beautiful fall days, if that's uh, what you're experiencing. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.